Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Miguel, and I'm switching it up because now I got two laptops. Kevin Gates may have two phones, but I got two laptops, one for the funnels and one for the ads. Now, what is this video about? It's not about, uh, it's not about ads. It is about funnels. I'm going to tell you how and what to do in order to have six figure launches there are three main things that need to be in every single launch that you do in order to make sure that they hit figures they hit six figures on a consistent basis these are the laws if you will these are the commandments i would have seven if i could think of seven and i'm sure i could if you gave me a little more time but right now we're just going to go with three because that's about how much time i have all right so what are the three laws slash commandments in order to do six figure launches? Number one, thou shalt have reciprocity within their funnel. Now, we talk about reciprocity a million times. You'll hear me say it a million times more. Reciprocity is the most powerful, uh, what do you call it? The most powerful cognitive bias that exists. Splashman would definitely disagree with me, but he doesn't know that I'm smarter than him. So basically, you are able to get the customer to want to give you money by using reciprocity. And the best part about it is that you can actually give them something of value for free that actually helps them in some way. So it becomes win-win all the way around. They get some free shit, you get some money, boom! This is business. This is how it works. I probably shouldn't have clapped right over the mic, but hey, what are you going to do? There are other ways to do it. Put free bonuses. If you're doing some sort of physical store where you're actually selling physical items is what I mean, not an actual physical location, that would be ludicrous. Those places are going out of business. <coughs> um, so yeah, if you're actually giving away free products, then free plus shipping, or if you do a bundle maybe make one of the items for free that's how you do it it's all about positioning it's all about the perspective of the customer realize how they're going to look at your store at what it is that you're selling at your offer realize their perspective of what it is that you're putting in front of them and position it accordingly in order to make that money now the second law i don't know why i held up four fingers the second law slash commandment in order to have six figure launches. Thou shalt have upsells. It's so freaking simple. Give your customer the opportunity to give you more money. You would think this would be like the easiest thing, like, like this would just be standard, but it's not. There's a reason why ClickFunnels exists. There's a reason why Russell Brunson is a multi, multi-millionaire. It's because he actually gives his customers the opportunity to give him more money. One of the craziest examples I've ever heard of this was from Russell Brunson when he said that a supplement company using a funnel would sell their supplement and right after that, as an upsell, they would offer more of the same supplement. And then if they took that, they would offer more of the same supplement. It's pretty ridiculous, isn't, isn't it? So, what do you do? No matter what, give your customer the opportunity to give you more money. It's that simple. If you're selling physical shit, try to bundle it together. Try to do upsells. Try to do email marketing to get them to buy more stuff. There's a principle that you need to keep in mind, and this will definitely skyrocket your business if you keep this principle, this idea in your head at all times. A customer that has just bought from you is the one who is most likely to give you more of their money. I could drop the mic right there, but we have one more law slash commandments that is going to be able to help you do six figure launches, all right? The last law slash commandments is to do appropriate product research. 
what does this involve? It involves going on websites like ClickBank. Hope I'll, I'll show it to you on the screen so you can see it. You you go on ClickBank. You go to the affiliate marketplace. You scroll down to whatever niche you want. Click it, and then you sort it by gravity. What that does is it shows you which of those products are selling the best. You are able to go onto that specific sales page and see what they're offering, how they're offering it in order to see what is working in your industry. Crazy, right? You don't have to recreate the wheel. And if you want to take it a step further, if you're broke, you don't have to do this, but I would definitely suggest it. Buy it. Buy, buy the freaking oppositions, the ops, buy the oppositions products and see what's on the back end. See if they have any upsells. See if there's anything else that you can recreate within that funnel and apply it to what it is that you're doing. So you can also make a lot of money. Like you don't have to recreate the will. The majority of my first sales pages were me just sort of like using other sales pages that I knew were working as reference in order to make my own. Like if you're, there's a reason why inside of ClickFunnels they give you multiple and multiple templates. A lot of times, yes, I do make some sales pages from scratch just because I've made so many at this point, but still nine times out of 10, I'm making my sales page based off of a template. Even when I'm making them off of a blank canvas, I'm thinking of other sales pages that I've made in the past and I'm sort of just making the same thing. So these are the three laws slash commandments. I probably should have decided which one I was going to call it, but fuck it. It's about action, not about the small details. So what does that mean for you? It means go take action if you're about to launch a course or if you're about to help someone else launch a course, keep these laws, commandments, these commandments in mind at all times and watch the money come in. If you enjoyed this video, if you felt like this was helpful, if you were into the the weirdness that is me i would like you to take a moment to like this video and then after you like it i would like you to also comment below your favorite your favorite food maybe or you know something else you would want to see on the channel it's it's honestly up to you they're your they're your fingers do with them as you may and then after you comment on this video i would like you to hit that red subscribe button when you hit that button, it's going to make sure that you see any other videos that I upload about with any to whatever topic that you want. At this point, this is really old. This is a really new channel. I don't got that many subscribers. So that means if you leave a comment and you tell me to make a video about something, it's going to be made almost immediately. It's the power of coming to a channel that's new. So Take advantage of that opportunity, comment, maybe go to my Instagram, DM me. We can talk about like potato chips or something. And once again, thank you for watching. Peace.